Hey guys, Noah here coming at you with another video, and I'm going to talk about this thing that's been urging me for months upon months upon months upon months, and it's going to be this Fo this Florida Panthers season ticket holder benefits thing. I mean, I'm because I've been going on their Twitter, their Instagram, their Facebook, whatever you want to call it, even their YouTube, and they've been posting things that made me feel left out, like the autograph sessions, the STH appreciation event, Panther Fest. I mean, and that makes me feel left out because, I mean, I should really be invited to those events that I've been a fan for so long, but I don't have season tickets. I mean, I kind of think that's, that's, a, little, that's a little screwed up by them. But anyway, um, I'll get to these, uh, like, these benefits, and I'll talk to you about whether the season ticket holders should have full access to it or they should, or they should share the access with all fans. So anyway, let's just get to this. Um... Hmm. This is the 2016-2017 benefits. I did have this 2017-2018 benefits, but my mom got rid of them out by accident. But anyway, that's all right. Um, it's the same thing except the thing that they added is they added a um a, a Florida Panthers exclusive jacket. Um, that I understand they could not, they could receive that. Um, but the thing is, they're getting it for free. If, for example, if I want to get it, I have to pay the full price, which is like 80 bucks, I heard, for a jacket. So, oh, wow. Dallas acquires Bishop from Los Angeles. But anyway, um, so let's just get to this. Um, so first one, priority access to NHL Stanley Cup playoff tickets. This goes to all of it, half, full, and um, hmm, Club 93, Club Lexus. And I think, yes, that should be a benefit because it's their seats. They paid for it, and they should get that benefit. But again, in my opinion, they should be giving, like, a certain amount of time, in my opinion. Because, I mean, maybe they, sh maybe, like, once they clinch or something like that, they should be given, like, a couple days, like, I would say two or three days to make a decision if they want the tickets. If they don't want it, just go on the market. I mean, you can't just, like, I mean, take all the time to figure it out. But I understand it's their seat, so yes, I think that should be a benefit. Complimentary discounted parking. I would not say complimentary because, I mean, I know a, a bunch of a bunch of NHL teams, like, I don't know, like the Rangers or the Capitals or whatever. I mean, probably the Hurricanes. I don't know. I mean, and I know, I mean, for a fact, I mean, some teams give complimentary, some don't. I remember a couple years ago, the Panthers used to give um hmm, complimentary parking to if you're a full season ticket holder and if, and if you're a club member, but but now it's only a full season ticket. I mean, but now it's only a club member. If you're a full season ticket holder and a half season ticket holder, you must pay. And I believe parking is like twenty dollars. Um, so season ticket holders, full ones get fifty percent off. Half ones get twenty five percent off. And I think that's pretty fair. I mean, I'll understand why they're complaining i mean they i mean but whatever so yes that is a benefit discounted parking seh appreciation event panther fest 2016 and this is the one that pissed me off the most um why do they have to take away a an event that that's supposed to be for all fans and basically all sports teams i know the i mean uh, um for example hold on a second um for example, the Miami Marlins, they have events for all fans. I mean, I would understand maybe they can get benefits like they get to skip the line or something like that. I mean, I would say that would be more fair, but they shouldn't take away the event for all fans. I mean, and, and if you want to grow a hockey community, you must have to add these events for all fans. And that is 100% not fair by the team. And I mean, I, that is not really right. I mean, they should not take away that event. Because, for example, I could be the biggest hockey fan in South Florida, but there could be a person that does not give anything about hockey, that does not care about hockey, and they paid for season tickets, and I don't know, they could just be someone that just sells the tickets, and they go to that event. I mean, that's not fair. I mean, the Panthers should, should know better. I mean, they should give that towards all fans, and I mean, there's season ticket holders that are complaining, saying, oh, I paid more money. Well, then, tough, I mean... I, I understand you paid money. I mean, you can get benefits towards it, like skip the line. But I mean, you have all these benefits, I mean, on this list, and I'll say yes to most of them, so. Hold on, I'm recording a video. Never mind. So, 
savings on a get on additional game tickets. Um, yes, of course they should get that. They should get savings. Angel Ticketmaster Ticket Exchange Resale Platform. Yes, holiday photo and ice skating events. Um, personally, I think this should go towards all fans. I mean, I understand the ice won't be big en enough, but, may but maybe they could like separates like maybe like two or three days. I mean. Maybe the season ticket holders could get in first, and then maybe like the other people, I mean, maybe not other people, the rest of the fans could maybe get in next. I'm not sure, but this should go towards all fans. So we have two things: complimentary in-game birthday messages on the jumbotron. Um, again, I mean, I'm recording a video. I'm recording a video. Hold on. Complimentary in-game birthday messages on the Jumbotron. Um, I would probably say, maybe, yeah, that'll be a good, maybe that'll be all right for them. I mean, they paid money. I mean, it's, it's probably it, it's probably all included. I mean, and then the ticket trade program, yes. M monthly Panther Land merchandise specials. All right, this, really, that, that should not really be of like a perk because that should go towards all fans that, that are at the game. I mean, that's basically saying, oh, you're not a season ticket holder. You don't have access to that. I mean... And the monthly BB and T Center food and beverage specials that should not be a thing to that should be towards all fans. And next is an exclusive player autograph session. I mean, why are you guys doing this? You're taking away all these events from the fans. I mean, that is not fair. I mean, the Panthers should really know better. I mean, this is why we're probably last in attendance every year. Hold on, hold on, Can you please come here? hold on. I'm recording now. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean. This should really go towards all fans of the exclusive player autograph session. I mean, that's that's why we're last in attendance, like, basically every year or the last five, I would say, because these should go towards all fans, and I guarantee you if they just gave the Panther Fest to all fans, that would probably boost up attendance. I and mean, all this stuff will, I mean, and the last thing designated parking area, Um, that sh yes, that should go. I would probably say that should go towards all season ticket holders, not just the club members, but anyway... That's my opinion. I know not all of you would agree with me, but again, I could post whatever I want um, that I think that I think's not right. So thank you guys and see you later.